I joined this institute in '99, uh, and in '99 itself, apart from uh, academics, uh, I was given the responsibility of uh, looking after ICT infrastructure. We started with uh, two very small computer labs with 25 machines, uh, but now today we have one of the best ICT infrastructure in place. We are having uh, connectivity with over 4,000 machines uh, connected in wired and wireless mode. So I'm responsible for uh, uh, planning, designing, implementation of this uh, entire ICT infrastructure and enforcing security mechanisms so that uh, seamless connectivity and access of all the resources is provided to all the users. It contributes to around 2,200 students uh, uh, combining these three programs, BBA, BC and MCA. Uh, my responsibility to these academic programs, uh, and since these programs are university affiliated programs, so the so course curriculum, uh, this uh, semester planning, the ensuring that smoothly classes run, that academic planning. Uh, we do conduct lots of activities, including sports activity, industry visits. We conduct foreign tours for students also. We uh, conduct sports activities uh, uh, for our students. And uh, then we, we have uh, 14 clubs in which uh, we have a students team uh, mentored by faculty members. So uh, this entire uh, uh, activity of uh, this uh, UG campus and then IT, uh, it keeps uh, uh, engaged everyone. Uh, in the campus. Uh, my role is primarily to uh, guide, to see that uh, academics run as it should be, uh, to see the coordination with university, with the affiliating bodies. And since uh, uh, we never compromise with the quality, our campuses are uh, NAC accredited with A grade, our PG programs are NBA accredited. We are also among the top 100 institutions uh, of NIRF, uh, Ministry of HRD Government of India too. Uh, the most impacted sector would have been the academia. Uh, if people would have not accepted it in right spirit. We adopted technology well in advance. So that also helped us. Initially it was a challenge because uh, uh, it was, uh, we were not prepared in fact uh, for such situation. Uh, we had to train the faculty members, we had to convince our students. Within 48 hours we completely migrated from conventional uh, mode of academic delivery uh, to the uh, digital uh, mode. We have conducted 6,500 online sessions for students, three quizzes in all the courses, all the subjects, it's online workshops by industry people. We had 17 alumni talks, alumni all across the world they interacted. And then we had uh, three very good events. We had one very good successful uh, program on cyber crime, where around 900 plus people joined on WebEx uh, platform to us. And uh, we had a faculty development program also. Initially, starting with forced digital transformation, very soon people have now experienced and realized that the technology adoption is definitely going to be a key in time to come. Even if things are back to normalcy, this digital medium, this technology is going to remain there. Because now this technology has given alternate ways uh, to the people, uh, to the administration, to the faculty, to all the stakeholders to keep things on. Those who cannot come physically, uh, they can at least uh, interact online. Never thought of that admission, activity like admissions would have also been uh, taken care of uh, in online mode. Internships are in online mode. So this uh, entire conventional system is going to be enabled by technology, going to be realigned by exploring the possible adoption, possible inclusion of technology. Assessment is one of the biggest challenge, which uh, is now because our most of the institutions are not equipped with that kind of uh, infrastructure. The culture, uh, of academic delivery, the, the culture of uh, the being engaged, being involved into the process, I think would make sure that this entire existing model, which was a faculty driven model, now people have, were trying to make it learner driven model, but now it, this is going to take a paradigm shift uh, where this uh, model will not be the delivery mode model, but it will be a participative model where students, faculty, they will be engaged this model is going to be more participative rather than that conventional one, uh, uni, uh, uni mode model where faculty comes to the class, delivers and goes back. So that is one thing. And of course, stakeholder participation is going to increase. And that stakeholder participation will definitely help in redefining the processes, realigning the processes. Institutions will also be required to plug into those things so that they can address to the to th those probable concerns, uh, their feedback. Technology is going to be key enabler. Second, this online mode of academic delivery is going to remain. It will redefine the existing processes. Uh, it will make a shift in paradigm. And third, the ICT security of ICT infrastructure, because till now academic institution were never part of the cyber criminals priority. But now this massive technology adoption has definitely shifted their uh, focus on this.
so that security is going to be on a bigger side. Security of uh, users, a strong need would be an awareness campaign uh, so that we make aware to students, uh, to faculty, to staff, everyone that how to use this uh, uh, ICT setup. Training and upskilling is going to be very uh, crucial. Technical training uh, uh, we have planned, regularly monitoring our server, our ICT infrastructure, uh, and make sure that appropriate security policies are in place. We can design certain uh, some courses and we can offer in uh, online mode uh, because this online mode does not in, uh, involve other recurring expenses. The expense in building up that course and that too if enrollment increases, the cost can be spreaded across. We have already uh, uh, started discussion on this, starting with uh, uh, some common uh, courses which are uh, important for everyone through MOOCs. We have uh, already uh, created our MOOC uh, environment. Having our own course will give us that flexibility, that freedom to design those courses, then accordingly assess the cost and offer in the best possible way so that maximum number of people can enroll and can get it. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.